and I can see a trace is burned down there and I see that this IC here has a big crack in it so that tells me that these IGBTs are probably shorted okay here's the underside we're looking at So that's that's not a short that's a measurement of a resistor and when you go over this side now that's a short so you can compare this to this so this this side of the amp is shorted these are probably shorted up here too yep how about that and if you look at the good channel you get 0.45 Alright, so this channel shorted and it blew out the power supply. Okay, so I clipped these at the bottom and pulled them out and sure enough, as expected, one of them had their faces blown off. So I took out all the output ice, uh, transistors and I set them up over here and tested them with the meter and I was kind of surprised but none of them tested shorted so the shorts remain in the board so it's a good chance that the drivers are what's shorted and not these output devices because these output devices do not test shorted. Okay, so I took out a driver and the, the driver is shorted. And the spot where the driver sits is no longer shorted. So this amp is going to need all new drivers in that channel and then retest it from there. Okay, on this one, both of these drivers here and here tested shorted. Now, while you got those out, test the uh, pads here for any shorts. And just for the hell of it, check all these little bitty diodes for shorts. Uh, everything looks pretty good, so amazingly the only two things shorted on this channel are this driver and this driver. And I got a weird feeling, I haven't tested all these output devices individually, but I got a feeling they're all going to test good. Alright, I got the new drivers in. Got the old outputs in. I tested them all and they are good. Next we go over to the power supply. I cut these legs and pulled the old legs out. And I'll deal with the rest of that tomorrow. Alright, I was poking around looking for shorts. And... That diode goes right there, right there. That was shorted. Tested this one, this one isn't. And I was testing this diode right here, and it was reading shorted. So I removed it, and it tested good, and the short stayed on the board. It turned out that this capacitor right here 100 microfarad 25 volts was dead shorted and now no more short so it looks like we're getting closer 
I like putting sockets in. I socketed these and put these little uh, 10 ohm resistors in. I think that's about it for now. All right, so QSC says when this blows up, replace this IC, this IC, this IC, and this IC, which I have done. And I use the E, the emitter pin, is your ground on your scope. And then you put your scope on the gate. And if everything's working, you should get a sine wave or a square wave to the gate of the IGBT. And there we go. That looks nice. Very good. All right, I put the new IGBTs in. Testing out. This is the bad channel. Seems to work. Nothing's getting warm. Success.